Hey folks, this is Nova Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Farming Simulator 17. We are in the map of Goldcrest Valley, and we're in our new Holland tractor right now. Last episode, we got to drive the trains around, got a little distracted, and we were on our way to actually work on this field. And the idea was, if we're going to buy a field in the future, and this one's definitely a candidate. Ours are right here, and right out this back road is this field, so it's easy to get to. 19 would also be easy. 16, not as. You have to go up and then back down, or or clear down below and back up. So 16's not as close as you think. And these guys are quite a ways down the road, too. So really, 19 and 11 are the, are the best candidates. And sheep is one thing that will be fairly easy to maintain, so we'll probably want to get some sheep before too long too. So this is a good candidate to start working the price down on. Um, I wasn't going to run mods on this game. I'm not actively out looking for mods for this series. But I was watching Daggerwin today and he has added some mods that are just from the, uh, the mod menu here within the game. So kind of sanctioned through Giant, I guess we would put it that way. That uh, were actually very interesting to, to watch. You know, as he was demonstrating them, uh, two of them, real tire, or I'm sorry, tire dirt and ground response. They're for, from a, uh, I, I'm assuming a modern company named For Real. Anyway, it uh, allows the tires to interact more with the road in the sense that whatever kind of road you're driving on, that's the kind of dirt's going to be piling up. So if you're on, on dirt roads, they're going to get very dirty. If you are out on pavement, the dirt will kind of fling off and clean the tire a little bit. So it feels more realistic to do that. And the ground response. As you're driving over bumpy ground, the tractor's going to move a little bit. Feel a little more realistic, rather than always running smooth, no matter what the environment. So those two seem good to put on here, so I'm going to give those a try this episode. So anyway, let's hop into the cab here head up in here and see what we've got see what uh, what's needed on this particular uh, crop field to be done we need to get a little bit of of uh, cash in the bank we're at 6400 right now and we need to replace that plow I don't know how much we're gonna be able to get back that kind of curiosity is fine now let's pop into that real quick so no not there it's uh, P for store there we go shop P for shop, of course. Um, garage. We own, I just saw it go by, the Salford right there. We can sell it. I believe I can do this without actually doing it. For 9600 we paid 13000 for that. Now, if we take it over there, it, it may be over 10000 So we'll get a little bit more. So we're going to lose about $3,000 for that mistake. Uh, do you want to do it? No. So we'll go back to that soon and, and take that in. But for now, let's gain a little bit more money in the bank. So we're going to get 10 back. That gives us 16. We really could afford the, the other plow right now if we had to. But that's going to take us down to fumes, and we're going to want to hire help to drive that plow. So let's go ahead and, and uh, see what, what we can do over here. Now, this symbol here, you don't want to park near it. That's one of the first mistakes everybody makes. You park here and it won't work. Because when you accept the job, it's going to place all the equipment right here. So you want to be off to the side somewhere. And don't park right next to the field if that's where you think you're going to be turning a harvester or some tractor around. You're going to give yourself some room. So what do we need to do here? This is Dennis Jenkins. And he's got a seven minute mission for us, which means four to five minutes at the most to hmm, smell that smells like money right well it does if you've got the nose for it how about I make this simple for you twenty eight hundred and seventy dollars and you fertilize that field for me so we're gonna take this job so we can gain probably close to four thousand when we're done so start all right so we're in the cab already start it up back it up over here Yep, yeah, that's not a Q. What is? I'm not. I'm not aligned close enough. There we go. Jump in front of them. And nope, that didn't work. Let's get a little closer. 
Alright, I have got to get aligned better. I'm trying to do this quickly for the speed bonus, but quickly I'm making some mistakes. There we go. <clears throat> now, I've talked about the PTO in the back. Here's an example of how it would connect to it, and then connect to the machinery in this guy, which that sh black shaft right there runs the length of it and, and operates a gearbox in here, and, and probably operates this guy over here. Kind of fun. Let's get going. So, what do we need to do here? Just basically, we don't have to unfold anything. Uh, so we just hit B and it starts, right? Yep. So let's back out so we can see the, the distance this thing will spread. Actually, we can take it in a little bit further over here. Still doing it. It's got a good wide spread on this thing. We'll leave it about there. And you can see the realistic uh, ground response. The trailer's bouncing around in the... Uh, all of the uh, little bumps in the field and let's pop inside there. Get more of a of a realistic feel in the cab too. I don't like this. How about how my rows doing? Looks like I'm drifting in a little bit. We had an update a day ago and it changed a lot of my settings. I didn't pop in to make sure the volume settings are good. Hopefully they are. Okay, B turns that off. It does. Oh, you can't leave the field. You can't get much distance from the field before things you've abandoned the project. So you got 10 seconds to get that fixed. Get back in there. All right, that's how's that spacing there? Can I back out any further. Looks like everything's going black. It's hard to really tell. We're going from gray dirt to to a much darker dirt as the fertilizer hits it. So you can kind of discern it, you know, if you've got uh, a good resolution on your on your monitor, on, on your, uh, your your video player right now, you should be able to see it. Zoom in here a little bit and watch the animation of how this works. So it's dropping down the little uh, diagonal paths there, hitting the, the spinning wheels and being broadcast out in all directions like a fan. Kind of neat. So on the PC version, B turns that on and off, or for me, my, my little thumb button there. Right about there. Spin this guy around. Ooh, there's a hill down there. Alright, so we're going to waste a little bit here. Tossing it off into the grass. Probably should have gone around the field, the perimeter, work my way back up that little side there that come back down this this middle long one I've done that right but let's kick off over in here and there your goal is not to hit 100% of the field on these timed uh, contracts your goal is to do 97% of the field as fast as you possibly can so missing little edges in between the rows guarantees you're going to be hitting 100% each time you go through rather than overlapping into an area that you've already done. So I could be doing this far more efficiently if I really tried. But it's working. Okay, spin you around, last run. Gonna straddle the center of all of that. Hit that. So when you're doing it yourself for your own field, you'll be far more careful about uh, wasting any material. Anyway, two minutes and 50 seconds left of this one. If you look up the top right, we've got a little green uh, pie over there, and it's telling us the uh, basically the percentage of, of the uh, of the challenge that is left and you just hope when you get to the end that, that thing closes and ends otherwise you've got to race back through and find all the little slivers you missed to get to get that that last half of a percent so we came away with about 3500 so it brings us up to 10 and we're going to get 10 for the uh, the uh, uh, plow, so 20, that's not bad. Now one thing you can do, we're actually still sitting on the symbol. We could hit the R again. Oh, no mission available. Often you uh, you hit it and, and the next stage will be waiting for you. And you can go off and do something else. So I was kind of hoping to be able to run the weeder through there and kind of tear the weeds up a bit. It looks like, well, is that first growth, first stage of growth in there, 11? Growth stages. No, 11 is further on. You can only run the weeder in the first stage. And that looks like stage 3. 
So where are we? We have got we got to get some seed in the ground. We got that's right. We got to plow. Okay, that's what we're doing. So we have got nothing attached. Let's go pick up that plow now that we've got some money and get back. Now I can't go that direction and get there. But let's go back and get that plow. Whoa, where am I? There I am. And take it back in, sell it, pick up the other plow. We're probably going to need to run the cultivator on the part that we plow to clean that up so that the AI can uh, finish the job properly. Otherwise, we're going to end up with rows going different directions. And I don't know if the AI will cultivate over rows going different directions later. It could, but I'm not sure about that. So, that'll be fine. That guy might be a part of the video that I'll uh, time lapse through and just to, just to buzz through it real quick. Oh, this is so much easier with the pedals. Can't wait till I get the steering wheel set up. Maybe in a couple of weeks. Oh, the issue I had at the end of last episode with the uh, the stuttering and the and the, you know, the graphics issue, I may have solved that. We will see as we get to the end of this one. Um, I, as I record these episodes, I have to go through and clean up the audio and get rid of the background noise, little you know noises from the fan of the computer, things like that. And I've noticed I've had to clean up more and more. I've had to get more aggressive in what I'm filtering out, which isn't good because it degrades the quality of the sound that's left. So I got to looking at the computer and realized the fans are getting louder, and I got looking closer and found that I haven't cleaned that in a while. There's actually quite a uh, quite a blanket growing in there. Not quite a twin-size blanket, but it's uh, it was significant. So <laughs> where to put that thing? Is that now? Was it this way? So, got in there with the vacuum cleaner, cleaned it all up, including the uh, the uh, the fan that cools down the CPU. That's what I'm thinking is uh, is probably causing it. So that's all cleaned up now. The CPU should stay a lot cooler, and should be no problem. Let's go and hook up in this one, but I think we'll just uh, swap tractors and and uh, do this. All right. So we can head to the store by going backwards, or we can go out the front. Here. Actually, we'll go out this way too. And I'm back in the cab. There we go. Easier to drive it from the cab. Not easier to see your environment, but it's easier to to keep everything uh, feeling uh, smooth as you're as you're driving. Let's see. Here's my path down. Now this should be more realistic in the ground response mod. So we hit decent sized bumps. I think we're going to feel like we just slammed our head against the. Uh, the top of the cab. It's it's uh, it really does add some realism to it. Um, tires have cleaned up considerably out here on the main road. That's what. Well, actually, this one isn't the one we we're driving before. Anyway, cab jumping here. There's nobody coming. Let's get going. You see our mirror over there. We've got a white car behind us. Anybody in our blind spot? No. Nope. Good. So we'll keep track of that white car, though he may catch up to us by the time we get all the way down there. And I believe you're supposed to have your flashers on when you're driving on a road with tractor equipment. See, for me that is the home button. So we'll go ahead and do that. I saw that truck going across. They will pull out right in front of you. They don't stop for stop signs. So... <laughs> Unfortunately, that part of the realism hasn't been added to the game yet. Yeah, that white car is catching up. So he's going to be in my blind spot by the time we get to our turn. We have to keep an eye on him. Twenty-five in here. It looks like he's going twenty-two. To slow it down a bit. Is this guy... Actually, I think we'll take... Now yeah, he's going to overtake us. Okay. Where's my turn? It's close. That's the shopping center. Oh, I can hear somebody on my left side. Yep, we got the car noise there. Neat. Alright, so let's pull over into here. I won't be able to use the blinkers until I get the steering wheel going because I cannot reach that number pad. I'm just going to sneak in front of that pedestrian there. Because an hour-long episode ends way faster than it feels like. I 
get to where I'm finally starting to enjoy the game, and I look up over at my clock and say, are you kidding me? Time to end it already? V and Q. All right, pull forward. So that we're not selling the tractor, we're just selling the other one. And hop out. Oh, I gotta hit my DPI switch. There we go, much better. Run over here. I'll show you how to sell a vehicle. Sell it or customize it. Oh, 11.5. So basically 9.5 to 11.5. They're adding almost $2,000 to us to, uh, to bring it in here. So that's definitely worth it. So sell that one, yes. And let's race over here. This time we're going to buy using the icon, not using the, the P key. And let's see if it tells us to go over to the shop and and, uh, and get it or not. Plow, double click, the coon this time. This one I don't believe has a wheel at the end. It should suspend in the air, rotate over, and allow the tractor to back up naturally. So I think this is the winner. We've got 21.6. It's going to cost us 15. Let's select this one. No upgrades are available. So we're going to buy. And you want to purchase this? Yes. All right. You can fetch it at the store. So that's going to be there no matter where we buy it from. All right. That's what I was curious about. There it is. All right. Let's run out over here. That's interesting. My, my accelerator pedal does not affect my walking speed now yet it does when I just get out of the tractor interesting all right so let's jump in the cab turn around up oh, back up with the other pedal you have just squish somebody front up there in front all right so let's spin around like that the opposite way I was planning <laughs> and let's see if we can do this entire thing from the cab Alright, back up. That's not the back up. That's not the other turn. There we go. Now where do we attach? I see those two. I wish we could see the the uh, the three-point hitch stick and I only get the middle. So we're just gonna do something like that. Oh I see that point that we can see attaches up above. So we'll watch that animation there. Yeah, he attaches up in there. And it's those down there that I couldn't see. But this one tractor, well, maybe some of the tractors do, but especially this one, has this really great window down there so you can see your, your attachments. Not all the tractors do that. So let's pop out and see what we got. That's more like it. Same width as the other one. Um, it does have the wheel. Let's see, V. Where am I? V. It does have the wheel, but as he goes to... Uh, to switch rows the the AI he will lift it and now it won't drag anymore so that is solved and now you see why you you do want a uh, a weight in the front that was the wrong button try there now I'm looking to see if now I'm not getting any big jump let me try this now we're getting some up and down but I was expecting to see the front wheels lift a little bit so this tractor is heavy enough to handle it all right let's get back home and let's get the uh, that, that field plowed. We'll set them to plow a different field while we're cleaning up the one that had the problems. That's probably a good plan. Nobody coming. And for just for Cathra, I will make a complete stop there. <laughs> I want to make those California stops. Anyway, let's hop back into the cab and let's get going. Mirrors look clear. So this time, let's see, flashers, this time we will head in the back route. That van, truck is going there, I'm going to head over here and at the uh, the sculpture right there. We can get in the uh, the dirt road coming up the back of field 14. We'll slow it down, there we go. I love the engine noise in this tractor. I think I'm going to turn my speakers up a little bit there. But the acceleration, the real throaty, deep noises is taken off. All the tractors have different sounds. 
and some of them are really impressive. But this is where you see it'd be nice to have the steering wheel. This is what I have to do to make a gradual turn. The steering wheel, you just turn a little bit and it just holds it there for you. Alright, first dirt road. Coast down into it, slow it down a little. There we go. What's it look like from behind? Any wobble? Yeah, we're getting some wobble. So I'm going to fix the rows here so they go in the direction. Or we just run this field in this direction. That's a possibility. What do you think? Though we do have the one row at the other end that is going the other direction. I don't think the AI is going to like that much. So let's just get him working over on a field that's not messed up. And we'll come over and fix this field. That sounds like a plan. So that one we want to buy the loading wagon and keep that soil. So let's go work on this one. So we want to be right where that tractor is, don't we? Yeah. All right, we'll just hop out of here. Fire him up. New. Back up and attach. Here we go. Alright, park him there. Hop out. Okay. Um, now stay out in this view. A little easier to line things up from the bird's eye view here. Right, I'm going to take it a little bit deeper, like so. And let's hire the tractor, the, the, the worker, and just see how they do this. I want to see the end especially, but I want to overlap the edge a little bit so there's no chance that I've missed something. A worker in there, ponytail this time. I wonder how many different models there are. As this is happening, we should be able to look over at plowing, and we'll see that the red is going to start to disappear in this field real time. Nice. You can go through uh, the, those charts there and see the state of your own operation, in case, you, in case uh, you haven't recorded for a couple of days and you forgot what you were doing. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens when she gets to the end. Otherwise, there's the uh, the train bridge that we drove on last episode. Came right over that hill there, looked over our, our farm here. Nice slow pans across, give you some nice cinematics. Zoom in here and... Da -da -da -da. All right, let's see how she does this. See how it's completely suspended now? The wheel folds up, and now it works fine. So, there's a lesson to you. The AI is not programmed well for that very cheapest plow. So skip it from now. I'm sure it's something that they're going to work on. I'm sure it's going to be uh, uh, working properly here soon. But here at the early stages of Farming Simulator 17, probably best to, to leave that one alone. All right, so it's going to get loud when I jump out here. Actually, I could toggle out into another tractor. I don't know where we're going to land. We'll go ahead and jump out. About this distance away, and we're fine. So let's run all the way back here and grab the tractor that had the sower attached. I want to show you some things about that. It took me a while to figure it out. I hadn't used this one, or actually I did a long time ago, so I'd forgotten about uh, how it worked. But, you know, I can't do it from here. I'll hop inside. We've actually got two bays in this one. And I couldn't, because the, you you pass your mouse over the symbols over there in the bottom right, or when you're in your, uh, your uh, escape menus, you don't get pop-ups what they are. So I was trying to figure out what was what. I thought I had two different kinds of seeds there. Actually, one of them is fertilizer. So let's take off here, get out of the noise. Uh, yeah, we're in the air. The 
can't really fill it up. Actually, we can't fill it up. So we'll end up just parking this guy. But I'll take you over to where we can fill it up. That's where we'll probably store it anyway. Sometimes switching from outside view to in the cab feels like I've got two cameras running and I've, I've just uh, switched from uh, one camera view to the other and while I'm creating this. It's, it's got a nice transition at times. Until I start doing this with the steering wheel. Left going, huh? Alright, so let's hop out here and go read this. With these big bags, oh I see. So those are bags within a crate or frame. Um, so I only have a certain amount of time doing that. Your tool, uh, your tool, well, refill your tools with seed and fertilizer. Once they're empty, you, yeah, get, got to read that a certain amount of time. Anyway, fertilizer, no seeds. That's where I got mixed up. This is liquid fertilizer, and I got a picture of a jug and that little leaf in there. Over here, it is a sack with that little leaf. So this is granular fertilizer. And these are, I will say, generic seeds. From here you get to choose. What am I hearing? Ah, right there. I knew I'd turn my tractor off. Uh, seeds that you'll get to choose by oh, whatever bu uh, button that was. I think Y switched you from seed to seed. In fact, I'll show you that too. That one caught me off guard as well. I couldn't find it at first. Um, let's back in. So, we're still in the air pull forward and then back in we'll back in over to here as we get close to this we're going to see the doors pop up as soon as they get in range they're going to respond right there so see there we are oh we got closer than i thought those wheels are back there um when you hit f1 and look at your menus oh well now it's going to make a liar of me I could not get that Y at the bottom, select seed, to, to show until I turned off the ignition. Now it's doing the opposite. Huh, I had to turn off the tractor to choose the seed. Now there was the, that update um, yesterday that, that did a lot of, well, did a few changes. Mostly did changes to servers, but it did change buttons. It changed the... Uh, uh, pedals and, and uh, any buttons that you had, had uh, set up for the for the game, any uh, changes to the, the control buttons. So maybe that did something to this too. Anyway, here's where you back up and you could select your seed Y. Down there in the bottom right you'll see it moving around. What do we want to plant? I'm not sure, we'll have to choose that, but I'm thinking I want some canola, which is that one. Probably another field of wheat for hay, and oh, we'll pick a third one. But none of them are ready to plant yet. Um, but anyway, this one will fertilize the first run of fertilizer along with the seed, which is really nice. Um, I don't think it's going to let me try to refill it because we're at 100% of everything. So otherwise, oh, maybe that's the difference. There would be an R that pops up into there, which would probably kick the Y down off that menu. And when you turn it off, it frees up another space. Maybe that's what's going on. Anyway, we leave this here? I think so. Let's hop out. Show you something else that I've just discovered. No, I won't. It's my other game that's got the, uh, the workshop sitting over there. I'm going to have to stop playing this on the side because I'm so used to that game save now. I'm going to forget what I've done in this one. But what can we be doing right now? We're, uh, cultivator, that's what we can be doing. Let's do that. So, fire this guy up. Cultivator is sitting where? Right there. So let's turn that off and swing out over here. Let's go clean up where the, the plow messed up up here. And then, let's see, what's the front of it? This over here is. Okay back. We're going to go like so. We're going downhill. So just barely touch the pedal. It's going to want to keep rolling right into there. There we go. So let's go fix that up there. Then 
uh, we'll set this one to cultivate the field that we're plowing right now. So we're going to run a, a row of plowing, or a, a layer of plowing over everything. That's good for three yields. So we'll be able to plant this three times where we need to plow again. That plowing is going to give us a bonus of 10% on our, on our yield. Then each fertilizing is going to give us a bonus of 30% when you do a, row of, uh, a layer of fertilizer between each stage of growth. So I'm going to pop out here so I can see a little bit better. And we'll do just a few of these and then I'll probably time lapse the rest. Just like so. And V, run it forward. How best to do something like this? I mean, it's not realistic, but you could just start doing this. No, it won't let you do it backwards. Interesting. So it's got that, you could do that in the other versions. Now it's aware of, of the direction you're going. Nice. Okay. Now I think I'll just do this back and forth for a while. So let's head down here and look at the animations and see what this is doing. So it's going to tear up the ground. It's going to uh, kind of mix it up and spread it around a bit with those discs. And then it's going to, you see this is kind of offset, it's not level going to just start to flatten things and just one more stage of trying to give you this effect rather than the furrowed you know, this plowed field over here but really interesting to watch the graphics here each stage is a different graphic so we're ripping it up we're disking it over and around then we're flattening it back out again let's see nine there we go and then out of our out of our view so i really have always been impressed with the graphics of this game more so even now, you're even better. So I'm going to go back and forth for a while here and clean this mess up. And I will, I will uh, check back in with you soon. Okay, there's a couple more here and we're done. Would you guys uh, give me your thoughts in the comments? What do you think? Do you want the time lapse to show all the different things that were done? Or would you rather me just cut away and then pop back in right here? I'm curious to what your thoughts are on that. Um, we'll leave that row and just start the, the plow at this point going this direction. And that should all work. So V brings you back up in the air. Let's get out of here. Actually we can I have to pop in to see what speed that tractor is going. Actually what we, you know we, we know that the plow can go nine, nine miles an hour but we also know that the AI switched over to six miles an hour. Well that's why the brake lights are on. I kept wondering why the brake lights are on. I didn't get to see in front. I must have tap the F key, but um, let's find out, well, we'll just give us a try. Let's see what this guy, higher, will drive at. 10 miles an hour, okay. I'm gonna tab over to that tractor, so see if I can figure which one it is. There we go, six miles an hour, okay. So we can't have that hired hand running yet, not until we've gone at least half the field with this one, or that one's going to catch up to and get in the way of this one. That's what I was curious about. So I'm going to tab back over. Let's see, you hold the shift, you can go backwards. It was two of them? There we go. We'll get to the end of this one and go ahead and, and shut this one down and tell uh, helper E 
And he needs to go take a long lunch. Alright. So you... We will position for the next run. Nobody's on the road. But we won't turn them on until the field's mostly done. Okay. Somewhere along there. Alright. Turn you off. Now, what other trouble can we get into? Um... Going back to a thought I had a while ago, what I was going to show you if I had my workshop over here is that you can change the color of your pickup. So, I, in my other game, I switched it to a uh, kind of a red pickup truck. Kind of fun. So we'll do that someday too. So we've got, where am I? Two tractors tied up on that field, and this one's sitting over here. What can we be doing for ourselves at the moment? Oh, my foot pedal's on. All right, so plowing is happening right over there. We really not much more we can do unless we bought a second plow. So our farm is done. We can go exploring or we can go work for somebody else. And that's probably more of what we need to do is go and work for someone else and get some more, uh, some more income. So maybe in for that one I will cut away instead of uh, time lapse. And you can decide which of those effects you like more in these videos. Anyway, cab view. Where do we want to go? Let's think about that. What do we want to do? It'd be nice. My other game, the one I'm doing for myself, I need to give that a name so I can distinguish it better. But the, the fun farm versus the uh, YouTube farm, the rec what I'm recording, the work farm, um, I think I did field five. It took me oh, an hour... 10 hour, 20 minutes, something like that. And it dropped 60, 70,000, maybe. No, it was over 100,000 into my lap. That was nice. And I can go out and buy some equipment and do something. I might do that just so we've got the money to be out doing things in this series. If we take it very gradually, you know, we'll eventually get there. That's probably the more realistic way. But it's also a little more boring. So it'd be nice to have two plows running right now, cleaning up this guy from both directions or maybe cleaning up two fields at once and a couple of cultivators following behind them and get the cedar going and get the everything planted we need more equipment so what is field five right now switch over to fruit type it is soybean all right growth it is ready to harvest let's go harvest soybeans in field five yeah we'll do Oh, most of that off camera. I'll show you, you know, the beginning, the middle, the end, or something like that. Field five. Let me see that map again. Nine. All right. Hit the road there, take a left, and we'll see it in front of us. Okay. Now, one thing about this pickup is it feels like it's driving with the parking brake on. When I let go of the pedal, it stops way too fast without ever having to apply the brake. So that's a little frustrating. I can't coast into anything. How are we doing here? It just comes almost to a stop. All right, so let's head out to field five. And what is my top speed right now? I thought it was 87, but I guess it's closer to 60. Whoa! Okay. I do have a car coming over there. Let's get in front of that one. There's field five. Right out there. Coast in here. Yeah, we got to give it a little more speed. It did stop way too soon. So this is that real skinny little field that if you bought the both, you could use the plow to combine them into one larger one. So that's something to keep in mind. I like how the grass comes through the floorboard. I've had a vehicle with the floorboards in that condition before. Anyway, let's turn him off, hop out, and see what we've got here. These are soybeans. So you're not going to be able to spit out any straw to make to bale something like this so basically it's just the seed pods up on the top and then uh, you'll chew up all the rest of the, the 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 plant there and spit it out as a dust so let's see what we've got we've got farmer Collins here who and I did look up hectare hectare is about two and a half acres so we've got uh, 24 uh, 30 acres or so going on here they want, he wants to pay us $56,000 to harvest with an MF Delta and a Power Flow header. 
Oh, 35 feet, that's a nice wide header too. Now as you, if you were to hit R and back out of this, it would, uh, and then hit R again to get back into it, to give you a whole new selection. Let's see that happen. Uh, actually back out, and then R again. Actual flow, 35 foot header. Same one. 45 foot header. Ooh. And he's going to pay you less because it's going to take much less time to do it. Huh. If we get this done sooner, though, I think I'll go that route. That header is huge. Yeah, let's do that so we can, we can take a look at it. So we'll start this one. Buy is to buy the field. Let's look at this, too. Close to a million dollars. So thumbs up, Simon Collins. As we do more work for him, we're going to see a bar move across this. We're starting at $968,000. We'll take a look at this when we're done. This will be probably less than $950. It will gradually just start chipping off a certain percentage every time. So $968. Let's kind of keep that number in mind. So start. We should start in the vehicle right there. This is a monster of a of a uh, of a harvester and look at the size of that header over there so let's start this guy up back him up where's my truck it's over there back into this space over here so you don't want to park too close oops don't want to get too far away either whoa stop brakes ah, my foot pedal slid away from me when I hit the brakes there all right back up again Forward. We're rolling downhill, so it just took off on its own. All right, so let's get close right there. And Q attaches. No, nope, a little closer. There we go. Wow, look at that thing sink down on its front wheels when it lifted that up. Let's do that again. V? No. I guess it won't drop. No. Interesting. Let's do this. I guess I just got to hit Q to put it down. Let's see. G switches me over. Lower header is V. Ah, it did. Yeah, it worked that time. Now watch the tractor or the, the harvester. The realism of the physics there. The tire squished. Oh, wow. Bottom of the tire smashes. Oh, I like that. Anyway, this guy, you've got to switch by using the G over to the header. We're not going to make as much money because I'm sitting here talking, but but uh, you've got the tow bar here and the wheels underneath that are in your way. Hit the X and it folds all this up. Now you can use it. Wrong button. I'll do that just to make it look a little better. And then we hit G again to get back to the tractor. Hit the X. Open up this guy. Everything folds out from transport to operating positions and we take off so B fires it all up and off we go spin this over here and take as wide a swath as we can all right six miles an hour is all we're gonna get out of this we back up a little so it's not as noisy like I'll get in the cab now yeah, that's that's better although the cab is really hard to see where that edge is it's, it's not as obvious as you think so C is much better to uh, to drive with, as far as as accuracy. But it's a little noisier out here, and it's not critical that we hit every single plant. So actually, I, when I'm doing this for myself and really want to get the most out of it that I can, I'll take it in to where I'm just skipping a little bit, or you can see a little bit past that header right there. If you skip a little bit here and there, you know that you're getting 100% in this guy. You're not skipping a little bit. You might be a little too far over, and you're actually getting 95% into it. And you're going to have to uh, take a little bit longer path in order to hit your your uh, your, your green circle up there. But I'm going to hop out. We'll go into. Uh, no, actually not. Let's. I'm going to stay here for a little bit. Get back right into there. Yeah, right about there. How do we do the ends here? Let me think about this. When we get there, I'm going to continue running. I think I'm going to go one harvester beyond 
and then try to do a 180 and come back in and see if the header will line up really close to the uh, uh, to where the this row ended. I think that will work. I've also taken it so that we'll get to the end up there and then I'll start turning clockwise and turn a complete circle landing into the end over there and then drive that side of the field and do a, a circle on that side and a circle on this side. Hello! Hey, we can see uh, a lot of graphics from in here. A little window in the back to show you how full you are. Where am I at here? Oh, I'm still pretty straight. So, yeah, a lot of animations. What's the cab look like? Here you got a computerized cab. And you can imagine grabbing that joystick right there with all the buttons for your thumb and, and uh, controlling the various aspects there. I'm going to see out of here. B. Oops, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to just go straight. Darn. Anyway, we're going to curve around, try to come back into here. And B. Off we go again. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and cut away, and I'll see you in a little bit. Here's the animations of the uh, sending everything out the back end. Oops, missing a row there. All these work a little differently, different animations. Kind of fun to, to see them all. Okay, this time I'll try to do properly what I was going to do last time. We'll see how it works out. Switch out here to this mode. So I'm thinking, although I've got to be careful the trees over there, I'm going to go about a harvester beyond and then turn hard. I'm thinking that header will tuck right back in. Yeah, that works well. Okay, that's the way I'll turn this thing around. Rather than like the AI does where it it pulls out, sometimes it does a little backing up, tries to do it in a short distance. This one you can do a, you know, a 180 and it works well. Alright, we're just passing through the one quarter mark. So, i got a more than a quarter of a green pie piece over there. So, I'll keep plugging along. Okay, I found a way to speed this up just a little bit more. I set the cruise control to its maximum. I'm running on that right now. If I, as I hit the uh, button with my thumb and turn off the, the header, I'll go to 16 miles an hour. Let's see how this works. You press it again to get it activated. It slows you back down again and gives you back your control. So that takes a little more time off of this if you're really trying to set records. Um, Tell you what I'll do from here on out. Rather than clipping the rest out, I'm gonna try a more aggressive time lapse, maybe ten times the speed instead of I think five times when I did the other one out. So a third option to compare to then let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like the the regular time lapse, the really sped up time lapse, or just cut it all away and and just get to the end and, and move on to the next uh, the next thing. So let me know what you think. Okay, so we're coming up on, uh, actually just beyond half of the project now. Let's get this guy around real quick, turn him back on, there we go. Alright, so we've had oh, about a quarter of a field with the faster time lapse. I'm going to now just cut away till we get to the, when we get to the end of the field. So I'll see you at the conclusion. Okay, so we've passed through three quarter. We can just barely see our pickup way down over there in the corner of the field where we started. 
to give you some perspective on where we're at. I'm also getting a little more jittery on the graphics again. So maybe I'll have to take out the, the distance that the, uh, the view, the, the objects come into view. Maybe that is, I think I've got that close to maxed. The problem is I'm, I'm recording at the same time. The computer can definitely handle the specs of the game, but I'm also trying to record video at the same time, and that, that uh, absorbs a lot of uh, resources as well. But yeah, our little white pickup is way out over there. This is a huge field. We have just that much left. We're almost done. Okay, we're getting pretty close to finishing now. You can see the, the green uh, dial up there, just a sliver left. Speed through this turn here. Spin around, hit the B, start up again. There we go. Now, there's no way that this harvester could hold this much uh, yield, you know, this much this much seed. So, in order to do this challenge, the game was uh, tweaked, I would imagine, so the field has almost zero yield coming out of it. And you can see the, uh, the bouncing here from the, the new uh, ground response mod. Makes it look far more realistic. But, um, yeah, the, the, the tweaked yield is the only way you can accomplish the goal of, of, of giving you this uh, contract and not have to to uh, figure out how to deal with loading up trailers and dumping off the harvester. So that must be how they did it. Our circle is almost complete. I've been recording for an hour and 45 minutes. A whole bunch of this is going to get cut out. But uh, I'm getting a little tired of, uh, of harvesting here. i glad to see this job done. I'm just going to plow right through the middle of this thing. Should be any second now. I don't remember what our time limit was originally. Seems like I do remember seeing an hour and ten minutes, so we're at least, uh, what, 55 minutes at least into this. Anyway, there it is. All right. Not as much of a time bonus as I had assumed. Interesting. I wonder if that has been tweaked a little bit since the update. So when I did a similar field uh, before the update on my own, it was like uh, 60,000 reward and 55,000 time bonus. So it was almost one for one. Anyway, while we're still sitting here, if we hit the R again, it's saying, hey, you could go through and, uh, and fertilize this field. We'll give you another $12,000. But uh, no, we're not going to do that. So we have now got $65,000 in the bank. I'm curious. Shop, if we were to look at loading wagons, let's see, I thought they were right about here. There they are. So loading wagons, looks like we only get the little guy. Um, garage, our tractors have 145 horsepower. So back to shop, this guy needs 120,000. This guy needs uh, 120 horsepower. This guy needs 200 horsepower. So we could only pull one of these two, and we can only afford this guy. So that's probably what we'll do to pick up our our straw. But I think we will do that next time. Well, tell you what, let's buy it, and then next time we'll pick it up. So we're gonna go pick up this little guy here, and we'll uh, we'll get to use it next time. Purchase, yes, 31,000. Ouch and pick it up at the store and done all right so with that folks this has been noble rambler thank you guys for watching and do let me know what you think as far as uh, uh how you want me to deal with with scenes that are too long do you want uh time lapse with a little bit of music or do you want me just to cut away and cut back in and, and uh, be done with it so let me know thanks bye bye folks